Hello and welcome to my channel. So I have this patch that I've been working on and I encountered this problem where I needed to create a toggle button that changes which parameter a knob is adjusting. So real quick, I'm just gonna introduce how it works. So here on the map side, I have the output switcher, which is this setup, and then the input switcher, which is this setup. So when this button is not pressed, and by the way, you can tell which way it is by right clicking and seeing what value it shows. Now that it's on, this knob controls the volume. And when it's off, it controls the balance. And every time I press this, the other parameter returns to 50%. So I have determined where the knob will always return to whenever I switch this. And the input switcher is something that I just included at the last minute and it's actually just a preset of the formula controller but i thought that i wanted to have like the inverse of that operation included in this patch so the way that this works is kind of the opposite so so whenever this button is on the a input controls these parameters so let me show you so when i press it when i move a both of these move but when I move B, they won't move. But then when I toggle it, it changes to B and notice how it instantly jumps to whatever state B is at. So when I press it, it'll switch to the A. And when I press it again, it'll switch to B. And now when I move B, they move. And when I move A, they don't move. And now I'm gonna go over the formulas for both of these. So let's start with the outputs. Here's how this case statement works. So right now we are in the pan formula controller. So the pan version is obviously going to the pan knob and the volume version is going to the volume knob. So right here we have this case statement, which has three parameters. So the first parameter is something that we're checking whether or not it's one or something else. So this is basically like if B is one, then we're going to return 0 0.5. And otherwise, if it's not one, we're going to return A. And here, the A is connected to the knob. So A is the knob and B is connected to the toggle switch. So when I press this toggle, you can see that B goes to zero. So now with this case statement, B is not equal to one. So A is gonna be true, which means that it's gonna return A. And what is A? A is the value of this knob. So now we can move this. But if I press this, B is one, what's gonna happen then? Well, this statement tells it that if B is one, return 0 0.5, which means that here in the fruity balance, the balance option is gonna go to 0 0.5. And with the volume one, it's the exact opposite. So here I have included one minus B, which is essentially the inverse of B. So here when this volume knob is on, like it states right here, the volume here, in the fruity balance is adjustable. And when I toggle this, it'll return to 0 0.5. I could also go here into the formula controller that goes into the volume knob and I could change this to just be zero. Just press compile. So this would kind of make more sense because the balance one is a bi-directional knob. So zero is kind of in the center because it's like no panning to left or right but the volume is like a one directional knob. So it might make more sense to return it to zero. So let's try this out. Balance is moving. When I press it, balance goes to center and volume is moving. If I press it again, volume goes to zero. So let's go over the other formula controller. So the input switcher. So A is input one, B is input two, and C is choose input one or two. So C is connected to this switch right here, and A and B are, they're actually connected the wrong way around. So this A parameter goes to input B, and B parameter goes to input A. And this rounding function is just to round to the nearest integer, but with the toggle switch, it'll work regardless. 
let's actually try that out and just take the round off completely. Let's open up this and this should still work. So A is working right now, B is not, and B is working, but A is not. So yeah, I think that was it for this video. I will put a download link to this patch like I probably mentioned in the beginning of this video already. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you find this useful. Please like this video and share it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more patcher tutorials and I also make a lot of other types of videos and release some music from time to time. But yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye!